wants to see why they are called slider turtles. Watch this. Recently, I came to this pond on the hunt for turtles, and I got quite a bit of good filming in with this very snappy individual, but one turtle I left out, the red-eared slider. So, I came back to see where I could catch some. I caught like the biggest red-eared slider I've ever- oh, Look at the length. Okay, come here. Hang on, I have an idea. Put him there and then just leave him running to the wall of the net. You shouldn't be able to get him on that too well. Okay, whoa! Go right on out. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at the mouth. Wide open. Claws. As you can see, I got these out, out, tougher gloves to withstand those claws after what happened with that other turtle last time. So, this is the red eared slider. Now, the red ear part of their name, oh, it's got a good look, out of those reddish ears. God, he might go for the camera. Um, and so, as I mentioned in the last video, this bottom part of the cell is called the plasteron. The top is called the carapace, and surprisingly, he doesn't have much algae growing on it. I'm not used to seeing that. Okay, I'm gonna put him in here for a minute. Whoa. He doesn't want to go in. He doesn't want to go in. Like, oh. Whoa, let me put him in. Oh, no. He barely fits in there. I'm gonna run back and have the waterproof camera, and then I'll be back to look some more at this turtle. Alright, uh, he got some algae on his head in the You can't reach that far, okay? I know I jumped and slapped your head, but um, anyhow, I'm not going to pull that off. Nobody can pull that off without getting chompied. And as you can see, he has pretty good sharp claws in the rip and roll of these. Well and truly. As you can see those long feet, very good for swimming. They can live a long time, you know, 20, 30, maybe even more years. Now, who wants to see why they are called slider turtles? Watch this. He is going to slide right down this rock. Boom, right into the water. This guy, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with him because you probably remember him if you watched the last turtle video. This is the aggressive guy. Nice. He doesn't even have to do a whole lot of work to for air. I believe this is a type of map turtle. You hear that? He's hissing at me. Snake wood. <laughs> Remember that from last episode? Okay, now. If we look here. Okay, you know, I'm not quite sure what kind of map turtle he is. I'm not seeing. Texas map turtles often have spots on their lower jaw. I'm not seeing them on this guy. You can see he's got the algae growing. Look at the claws. How can they have such long claws? They're called red eared fighters because they're red ears. And they'll really eat seemingly most anything they can find in their pond home. Uh, small aquatic invertebrates, small fish, uh, aquatic plants. Not a lot of algae on this guy's carapace. And of course, very seldom you find one of algae on his plaster on. Amazing swimmers are almost kind of paddle feet, like a flipper. But you can also see how those feet allow them to walk on land. To walk on land. Now, as you can kind of see here, he's not quite as uh, slow as people think turtles to be. Watch him scoot along. And of course, in the water, 
their lightning speed. All right, well, we talked about why they're named, what they eat. They, so I think it's time and we let this guy go. Let me get up the GoPro for the good underwater relief. Once again, we get a look at why they are called sliders. I'm Luke Johnson. We'll be a whole lot of fun on this episode. See you again soon.